At this year's two sessions in China, new quality productive forces has emerged as the buzzword, urging industries to adopt innovative technologies for higher quality development. Given its traditional roots yet immense scale, what advanced trends are shaping the construction industry? I'll be speaking with Li Hao from China State Construction Engineering Cooperation, one of the world's largest construction contractors, to delve into how the sector is embracing innovation. Uh, thank you, Mr. Li, for being here with us today. So, with this new architectural uh, technology emerges rapidly around the globe, uh, what do you see as the major trends for the global architecture for the future? In construction technology, we are focusing on evolving in key directions. Firstly, moving towards more sustainable low-carbon development and improving energy efficiency and eco-friendliness. Secondly, merging with new technologies and industries, like the integration of construction and manufacturing, leading to construction methods increasingly resembling factory production lines, including the integration of IT and AI. Thus, green low-carbon construction, smart construction, and industrialized construction are the three steadily evolving trends. So compared to the world's leading standards, where do you see China stands in terms of their advantages and gaps? We've reached an advanced international status in construction machinery, particularly excelling in large-scale projects like high-rise buildings, large-span bridges and tunnels. In engineering organization, we can export sophisticated management practices globally. However, we acknowledge gaps in certain areas. For example, our construction industrialization technology has room for improvement compared to Japan and Europe. Additionally, we still rely on some foreign fundamental application software. So how do you understand this new concept to call the innovative or the new productive forces? How can such innovative productivity be fostered in architecture industry? The new quality productive forces lie in technology-driven advancements necessitating a fundamental commitment to innovation. Despite being a traditional industry, the construction industry is continuously evolving. This includes technological innovations like intelligent construction, 3D printing, and the integration of information technology. The second aspect of productivity focuses on sustainability, emphasizing green and low carbon practices. Additionally, I think we need more pattern innovations, exemplified by the engineering procurement construction model, an integrated approach encompassing design, procurement and construction. So in what way can China's technology contribute to the, the global infrastructure development? Both management experience and technical expertise are fundamentally carried out by people. When Chinese engineering professionals work overseas, they bring their knowledge and techniques to projects abroad. This allows other countries to bypass many developmental hurdles by directly adopting China's cutting-edge construction technologies, materials and machinery for similar projects within their own nations. China, with its vast and varied terrain, has developed comprehensive construction technologies suited to different scenarios, from cold regions to coastal areas. Years of engineering practice have not only yielded isolated techniques, but a cohesive system, which can rapidly enhance the construction standards of other nations. Now, let's talk about artificial intelligence. Uh, what application might it find in the field of architecture? Currently, the construction industry is still in the exploratory phase of utilizing AI technology. There have been attempts, such as using AI image recognition to identify safety and quality risks. However, employing large-scale models is just the beginning. 
The application of large models is in its early stages due to the unique nature of construction projects. Even identical buildings constructed at different times by different people face entirely unique, ever-changing environments. Our strength lies in the extensive construction scenarios and data we've accumulated, which are invulnerable for training AI, creating in-depth intelligence beyond just laboratory versions. So what technological solutions can we explore to achieve sustainable development? I'll illustrate using carbon peak and neutrality as examples. Starting around 2021, we began carbon auditing to precisely qualify CO2 emissions in every construction phase. We identified three emission types, direct emissions from on-site fossil fuel use, indirect emissions from purchased electricity and heat, and embodied carbon. Our data show that indirect emissions and embodied carbon, especially during the operational phase, account for over 90% of total emissions. Consequently, we are exploring near-zero energy projects, requiring minimal operational energy and offering low construction costs. We also mandate emission reductions from our suppliers, though reducing emissions from steel remains challenging. For cement, we are reducing usage and developing low or negative carbon concrete with new technologies.